And there's some evidence from humans that if you take a young prepubertal female and you expose her to the scent of a reproductively competent male for a series of days, and she is also not regularly being exposed to the scent of her father, that she can undergo puberty earlier. There is something about the odor and or pheromones or perhaps something else that occurs when a young prepubertal female has a father that she's in regular contact with. He wouldn't necessarily have to live at home, but that is around a lot, that his smell is registered by her biological systems. I don't wanna say protects because it kind of skews the valence of the conversation, but that offsets or buffers the otherwise observed effect, which is that the scent of a reproductively competent male, if it's present often enough or perhaps intensely enough, that it can trigger the onset of puberty in that female. In other words, the scent of a male that is not the the father, and we think also that is not biologically related to her, can trigger earlier onset of puberty.